Hi, I'm Carrie um, of the Careers Hub in Cornwall and Arles Scilly, and this is my quick guide for schools and colleges about how to engage and work with your enterprise advisor. So the first thing to think about an enterprise advisor is that they are a champion. Uh, they are a champion of um, industry, of, of their business, of their sector, but they're also a champion of you and your work and the school or the college that you represent. So, so don't neglect um, to invest time and energy in the relationship that you have with your enterprise advisor. Um, if you don't sort of maintain contact and communication, the likelihood is that they're sort of they'll become discouraged and they'll look for another role to take on or, or a way to sort of get involved. Um, use your enterprise advisor to help you uh, develop your networks and to support you in your networking activities. So when I first started working with an enterprise advisor, that was one of the first things that we looked at in terms of supporting me to get confidence and a skill set in, in a business networking environment, because it can be quite intimidating. Also giving you advice about using things like Twitter and LinkedIn just to upskill yourself. An enterprise advisor should be able to give you strategic input. So like ask the important questions that not the technicalities, not the detail, but just like the big picture. What are you trying to achieve and, and how are you trying to achieve it? How are you communicating your vision and, and how do you know that you're it's making a difference and, and having an impact? Um, that enterprise advisor is also an expert in business, not necessarily careers and career development, but, but they are a real voice uh, for their sector and really useful and will give you insights and um, that will be really valuable in terms of supporting the careers programs. I'll give an example of that in a minute. Uh, an enterprise advisor can also help you to evaluate your careers programs and, and we've already got great examples of this and they could also at times be your critical friend and um, maybe to help steer you on course um, uh, but remember first and foremost in the, in that champion role. So some of our enterprise advisors are also happy to take on a small amount of delivery work, but just to note that this isn't an expectation of the role in general. So it's an added extra if you do have an enterprise advisor who's willing to do all those first sort of areas of work and then some delivery. So in terms of using your enterprise advisor, uh, why not invite them for a tour of your school or college? Introduce them to the wider staff and governors, possibly uh, invite them to events. Uh, maybe that's a staff briefing. Uh, maybe it's a special event at the school that you want to celebrate. Maybe it's a concert, a sports day, whatever you think they might be interested in being part of, uh, just to help them get a feel for the school and, and what you're about and what you're trying to achieve. Stay in touch with your enterprise advisor. Um, that means really a, a minimum point of contact every single month. Um, but we know that a lot of our uh, careers leaders stay in much closer contact with their enterprise advisors than that. Um, maybe send them a Christmas card and, and things like that. Those kind of added extras just to let them know that they're important to you and you're thinking of them. And also, um, probably most importantly, just use them to have conversations. Um, tap into their wealth of, of insight um, in terms of what employability means in their industry. How is recruitment being delivered? What about apprenticeships? Um, new options, internships, T-levels, graduate entry routes. How, how do they ensure that their business is successful and productive and, and what new things are happening? There are some really interesting developments um, constantly uh, in, in the world of commerce um, and just really interesting to see how things are shaping up within Cornwall the Isles of Scilly and wider uh, field. We've got some great case studies of enterprise advisors doing some brilliant work across the county and that includes some of our enterprise advisors have actually supported students at a special school um, to engage in sort of um, an amazing, almost like a work experience programme that involves those students creating content, um, online content for um, magazines. And, and it's been a really successful project that has continued through COVID because it's something that can be done via digital means. Some of our enterprise advisors have often also offered like leadership coaching, both to careers leaders and um, senior managers, um, in one case, um, conversations with a head teacher as well. Um, some of our enterprise advisors have given feedback about approaches to communication, social media, things like that. We've got one example of a, an enterprise advisor who's been used to go and do consultation work with the student voice group as part of the evaluation of the careers programme. 
And we've also had enterprise advisors who frequently give advice about entry routes into the world of work. So things like um, labour market input, apprenticeship route weights. And now also we're, we're seeing the emergence of, of Kickstarter and a growing uh, picture of T levels as well. Um, so do stay in touch with your enterprise advisors and use them for the full resource that they are.